In September 2009, Clay Electric's engineering department contacted the U.S. Forest Service about removing or decommissioning its Central Tower substation site in the Ocala National Forest. The substation was no longer being used by the co-op. Clay Electric was able to use the National Forest site under an easement provided by the Forest Service. As part of the removal process, Clay Electric needed to meet certain cleanup requirements before it could be released from the easement. On November 15, 2012, nearly three years after the demolition, removal, and restoration of the Central Tower substation site, Clay Electric met with an environmental consultant and personnel from the Forest Service and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to discuss how the site has progressed. It's expected Clay will finalize an exit from the easement agreement in the spring of 2013. My name's Chris Bryan uh, with Clay Electric. I'm in the engineering department. Um, and uh, we're at the uh, Central Tower substation site. Uh, we built the substation in the late 60s and uh, sometime in late 2008 we decommissioned the substation. Um, so we, uh, we started talks with the uh, National Forest Ser Service in 2009 to uh, find out uh, what exactly we needed to, to do, uh, what was out here, and so we, uh, we've determined that uh, there was certain things that we wanted to to work with them on to bring this site back to a natural habitat for uh, some of the, the wildlife in the area. There's some endangered species. Uh, the first that we were clued into was the, the Florida sand skink. And uh, we have we found no evidence of them on the site. We walked through with the wildlife service to see if we could determine if any actually lived on site. And we did not see that, um, but we know this area is a large sand skink habitat area. Um, the second was the Florida scrub jay and actually as we were out here with the Florida Wildlife Service the first time we saw a few flying out in the scrub you can see behind me um, and so uh, the last was the uh, the morning glory it's a, a form of morning glory um, just a purple flower on a little vine looking plant and uh, that one's a, a, a endangered species the scrub jay was a protected species and the sand skink was an endangered species. Uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service involvement in this project was one, to assist uh, the Forest Service and make some recommendations for the, the habitat needs for uh, federally listed and protected species and uh, furthermore to make sure that during the habitat restoration process that uh, there would not be any adverse impacts uh, to listed species such as uh, disturbance to scrub jay and impacts to uh, sand skink and we knew that there were uh, federally listed plants uh, out here on this site. We, as we were walking the site we found these morning glories on the ground um, and so we hired an environmental consultant to come out and do a survey of all the morning glories on site. There was a, a, a very unique uh, restoration opportunity for Clay Electric uh, and for us to be involved in, um, essentially returning this whole area to uh, the natural, a natural scrub environment, um, of which uh, now it being uh, late 2012, we've completed um, a transplanting uh, and uh, planting of nursery stock uh, comparable to the local, uh, local plants, uh, local trees and scrub. And now, uh, basically, we're, we're, uh, we're ready to sit back and watch Mother Nature uh, do her magic over the next 10 years plus, uh, making it look like uh, the surrounding scrub area. We, we certainly appreciate Clay Electric coming out and doing this uh, uh, restoration, and uh, uh, we appreciate your, the cooperative nature that Clay came out and did this. And they, they're very happy with uh, the progress we've made and uh, we're going to have another follow-up meeting in the spring to just track how, how much improvements happened over the, uh, the next few months.